As far as general PC maintenance, I also get this question a lot. Should you leave your PC on or should you turn it off? And the answer to me, and just PC updates. I've, I've got ridiculed on some uh, YouTube videos about disabling or delaying updates. So here's my suggestion. Disable feature updates, whether it's Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever. Here's the thing. Every time you add feature updates into the update cycle, things can break. Uh, if you're looking for complete stability and reliability, always install security updates, usually about a week lag time. There's very few times where it's acceptable to do it on day zero. And this has been true. Any IT professional will tell you that's ever set up a server. The very first thing we do is disable automatic updates. So that kind of goes against the grain uh, of a lot of YouTube channels where like always run updates. I always be up to date. And I'm like, um, yeah, you can be too up to date and you can be a guinea pig for Microsoft and you could actually run into a lot of bugs and problems. So delaying the security updates by about a week is suggested. And I made an entire, actually I made an article on Christitis.com specifically going over this um, security. Let's see how to install security updates in Windows 10. Here, I'll put this in chat. As this is a question I get, but basically what you're doing is disabling feature updates or really pushing them like years back, which is fine because they're feature updates. And then putting security updates on a delay of about four days uh, and if you have home edition and you don't have access to group policy, which I covered a little bit earlier, um, you can just do a straight registry edit on here and then just pipe these in because all group policy objects, it's just a nice little GUI for admins to use to set group policies, but you can interface and change the, the brain of windows, so to speak, um, to do all the things group policy does on home. It's just a little bit more cumbersome. Um, so that's a, that's a fun one. Thought I'd mention it. If you'd like to check these out live, please head over to Chris Titus Tech. That's my main YouTube channel, or you can actually follow me on Twitch. And with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as I'm always curious to hear what the feedback is as it dictates what videos I make and what questions I answer. So with that, I'll see you in the next one.